Hi, this is Morgan Wade. I'm here at Woodward Camp in Pennsylvania. Vital had a poll on what tricks you guys wanted to learn. 360 turndowns won, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do spin roonies with turtle doonies in them. All right, first things first, uh, this trick is gonna be probably intermediate to, I'd say, even advanced. First of all, you wanna be extremely comfortable doing 360s and also turndowns, because when you add them together, it kinda makes a whole different, uh, a monster. I think the best thing to do is to be able to do turndowns on quarter pipes uh, really well before you attempt this trick because when you do turn down straight it's a totally different movement as opposed to a 180 turn down on a quarter pipe. Turndowns on quarter pipes are a little bit better to uh, practice on because you're doing a 180 in the turndown and that's pretty much halfway to a 360 turndown because when you leave the ramp your shoulders are already turning to do the 180 so it kind of helps you click into the turndown. And it's really the same feel when you click into the turn down in a 360 because you're going to take off the lip, spin your shoulders, leave the bike behind a little bit and just turn straight into a, into a turn down and hold that through probably about at least 90 to 180 degrees of the rotation before you uh, come out of the turn down and, and land the trick. You want to be extremely comfortable doing 360s where you know that you know you don't have to worry about doing a three on the jump. You know you're going to come in good. You don't have to worry about you know casing and hanging up and whatnot when you're first learning this trick because you really don't want to case and hang up when you're in a full turndown. It doesn't feel good at all. I know from experience. The point of your rotation that you really want to try to click into the turndown is right about 90 degrees. That's where I always try to do tricks. Like three, in 360 variations, I usually try to throw other tricks in right about 90. And for turndowns, this works too. It's, it's the best time. You just click right into it at 90, and it gives you a good, you know, at least 180 degrees of, of rotation to actually hold the trick. So you want to get a nice long extension on, on, on the trick. So you want to hold that turn down as long as possible. And a lot of times you can crank it a lot farther if you give yourself a little bit more time. So I'd do it right at 90, hold it for about 180, and then pop out of it right at that last 90 so you can come in for a smooth landing. You want to make sure that you click into the turn down at the right point of the 360 so you don't throw your weight off all funky and over rotate. That's another thing you want to watch out for. When you spin a 360 to do a turn down in there, you want to rotate a little bit slower than you would just a regular 360 because a lot of times when you do click into the turndown it speeds you up a little bit and you'll actually over rotate. A lot of the things that makes this trick you know appealing to me anyway is just the way that it looks as a finished product and also the way it feels in the air. One indication that will let you know that you're really getting the trick down is when you get the Doyle burn. And that is where you actually burn the back of your arm with your tire because you're cranking into it so hard. Or you, you know, get some little cuts on your arm from your gyro or whatever you got down there. It doesn't feel too good, but you know that's a sign. You're like, okay, I got it. I'm doing, I'm doing it all right. So if you're getting the Doyle burn, you're doing good. Take your time. It can be frustrating, but when you're done, the finished product will be worth it. So have a good time out there. And if you have any questions or want to let me know how it goes, I read the little posts here on Vital, so hit me up. Good luck out there.